under the sun. And I can remember myself, I have my, my backyard, and I go out there sometimes at, at night, or maybe if my wife is gone, I might go out and just sit there. And I put myself in a place to where I could kind of dwell on my life and what I lived. I think I was talking to Elder Benson. People, we have to take this seriously. If you're, if you're straddling the gate, we want to get right, right now. It's, I'm so sincere about this walk with God. When I came, when I came to church, I, 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 God revealed to me the other day, and this is the time I'm in my closet. I'm just sitting there revealing. As growing up, I had an uh, understanding of what he wanted out of my life, what my purpose was. But I was so caught up in the things of the world that I didn't pay any t attention at all. It reminds me of UPS coming, dropping a box, laying a box in front of me. And that box right there has on the label my name on it in big letters. That box has my address. That box has a list of bullet points of everything that's in the box. Joy, deliverance, everything that I need is on that box. But take, take a look. I see the box, and the box has these things. It's telling me what's in the box. But Deke, I still left the box there to go do the things that I wanted to do. Knowing what's in that box, hallelujah, this is what is happening now to, to our young people, to our saints, is that God has placed this thing in front of you called holiness, called holiness. That's what the box is. But we choose to just walk past that box. We choose to ignore what the thing that's in that box is going to give to us. We choose to take the other box that got Michael Kaur on it that just shows a little name, a big address, little name, and you don't even know what's in it. But this box is your deliverance and your Savior, everything in one. I avoided that box 20 years. 20 years. 20 years I avoided that box. I knew what was in it, D. But the party was too good. The party was too good. The drinking was too good. My friends was too good. But I got a box that's set for me. But you know what the Lord said? I could have took that box at any time. That box could have been gone the next day. I could have been gone that next day. And I avoided a good thing. God is right there in front of you. And he's here to give you everything that you need. He's there to give you everything that you need. So he goes on to say here in the conclusion of this whole matter, fear God. We have to fear God in a humble state. It's not a, it's a fear of reverence. We have to reverence the Lord. As you come in the house of the Lord, you're reverencing him. You're coming in with the expectation. That's what Solomon was trying to teach us, you guys. There's nothing in this world, world that can satisfy us without God. I believe the scriptures say, what will profit a man to gain the whole world to lose his own soul? This is what he's trying to tell us. If you're trying to strive 
for those big things. Put God first. This is what he's talking about. That's what he's trying to talk about. That's what the fear he's trying to tell you. He's trying to teach us that. Fear God. Fear God. There's nothing else to it. Obey his commandments. That's all he's trying to tell us. Obey his commandments and fear him. Hallelujah. I don't know about you guys. I'm going to take my seat. I'm going to take my seat. I just want to let you know. Hallelujah. While you have the opportunity. Why you... While you have this chance, open the box. See what you want out of that box. Through this fear, this reverence, loving God, Deke, I live my, I'm living my best lives right now. I'm living good right now. Now, is that saying... I'm where I want to be at? No. But I know when I have a struggle and I'm dealing with things of life, I could go back and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for what you're going to do. When, I, when I'm limping and not feeling my best, I can still shout with one leg and say, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, that's why we get this opportunity. And the church has gone wild. All these false prophets coming in. And we finding ways to to get to their church. And we say, whoa, the man of God had a word for me. He's kicking up his leg, preaching, preaching hard. And he's talking about bananas and apples. But it's only when we come in our own house that we want to not reverence God by coming in with the expectation, coming in with some praise, coming with the joy of the Lord. As you sing these songs the praise team has, you're singing along because you want that same feeling. Hallelujah. You're expecting deliverance. But only thing is, We're lacking, fearing God. I say to you today, fear God. Keep his commandments completely. I want to encourage everybody here today. Your struggle don't mean anything to God. Bring it all to him. When I say all, bring it all to him. Look at yourself and look at the things that you're dealing with in your life. See where, acknowledge the things God already has done for you. Look back. Take a moment like Solomon under the sun. When you're thinking about your financial issue, sit back and think about where you have gone from. Think about where you can go. Keep God in the midst of every decision that you're making. Don't give up. Don't Give up. Don't give up. Brother Manny, don't give up. Press into the mark. Press. Don't give up. Keep going. Keep going, you guys. This life is beautiful. This life is beautiful. And I'm thankful for God for keeping me in this place, keeping me in my right mind, keeping me saved when my friends still try to call here and there to test me out. I thank God for being steadfast in his word. I thank God for keeping me and growing me in his word. So I appreciate everything that he has done. I love this church. I love my bishop, first lady, and meritage. I love my church, and, and this is dear to me. I'm sorry, I'm a little emotional today because I'm dealing with something. 
You know, my, my grandfather is on his deathbed. Been fighting this fight. Been fighting this cancer. Yesterday, he called and said that he's tired. But it's okay. It's all right. But I look at this life, and the only thing that I think about is where did he put himself in position with God? Don't get caught up. Open the box now while you still have the chance to open the box. And let's go forth and let's go higher in the Lord. Pray my strength in the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, we're going to fear God and keep his.